Hey, what's up? Pixelflux here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create a photorealistic asphalt or tarmac uh, material in 3ds Max. And uh, the ones that I've that I've been doing look like that. Uh, this is from one of my works in progress. So uh, this material is what we're going to be creating today. And that's another example of what it looks like along with the uh, curbstones in place. So not only that, but I'm also going to be sharing a free texture with you um, that I've created for myself um, to aid me in this uh, tarmac uh, material creation. If you go to uh, pixelflux.net slash freebies, um, you're going to end up on this page here where um, you can like my Facebook page or maybe leave a comment if you want to. Um, but more importantly, you've got the free download section on my page here. And uh, I mean, it's it's not much now. It's uh, more for the architectural visual visualization um, community, but um, I'll be adding more stuff as I have the time for it. At the moment I've got a couple of downloads and the one we're interested in is the tarmac texture. So uh, if you hover over and click on the image where, where it says download, um, you'll be able to uh, save a zip folder um, named tarmac. And once you download and save that and extract it, you're going to be greeted um, with two textures and they're pretty similar I mean not that much different but um, it's for your creative freedom you can mix them up um, a little bit and uh, see what happens anyway so let's go to 3ds max and see where the magic happens so um, uh, I've got a blank scene here so I'm just gonna jump to my material editor and uh, I, I'm assuming that you know um, base yeah uh, you know you know your way around 3ds max and uh, your uh, selected renderer of choice um, so i'm just going to skip that part and go straight for the material creation i'll be using mental ray uh, for this particular example but if you use v-ray whatever it's going to be absolutely fine as it's just a texture um, anyway so i'm going to select arc and design shader and uh, let's say name it tarmac there we go and uh, just I'm gonna click on this button here and load in a bitmap texture and my bitmap texture is gonna be asphalt 2 in this case I'm gonna say open and uh, I'll show you one little trick um, if you if you have a look at the enlarged material editor um, especially at the edges where the um, texture is facing away from us it's kind of blurry not really that sharp but if, but uh, if I go to the filtering section here and click on no filtering, see what happens there. It's uh, sharpened up quite a lot. If I go back to pyramidal, it's uh, going to blow up again. So back to none. Really nice and sharp. So uh, basically what we're doing here is instead of allowing 3ds Max to pre-blur the texture and create a mip map for us, we're uh, relying on our anti-aliasing setting to uh, anti-alias the texture and uh, that way we're just gonna end up with a much much sharper texture. So this works for bricks, anything else. It's a great little way to uh, improve the sharpness and the realism of your renders. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy that texture and I'm going to load it into the reflection slot as an instance to give us a little more irregularity um, in the uh, specular reflections. And uh, I'm going to probably tone down the reflectivity to something po like 0.2 and the glossiness to something like 0.3. So you have just a bit of that catch light which is going to be really diffused but it's going to define the shape of our shader and I'm also going to check the highlights and find and gather only next I'm going to go down to the bump map section plug that in as well it's going to give our texture a little bit of a bumpy appearance and I'm going to crank that up to all the way to probably 0.5 or 0.6 or so and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's create a little plane to test it out. Let's see, click there and I'm gonna slap the material there 
and uh, it's a little too big it's not tiling so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the UV map and let's give it a smaller scale something like 80 by 80 centimeters um, the, the scaling all depends on what kind of uh, road surface you're creating and uh, whether or not you're working in real-world scale uh, in my instance this appears to be about right so uh, to test it out I've already prepared a little scene for us so I'm just going to unhide all and uh, let's go to realistic I'm not going to get into rendering here because this is purely just a material and the texture giveaway so I'm just gonna straight um, jump straight to my camera view and um, so it doesn't take too long let's render out a little pre-prepared snippet and let's hit render so let's see what that cooks up do 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 Okay, so the rendering's done and it took a little longer than expected um, because I subdivided these boxes a little too much, but doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so here's our final result and the tarmac looks pretty convincing as far as I can tell. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So all you gotta do is just go to pixelflux.net slash freebies and download your free textures. Uh, maybe leave a comment or you can leave a comment below on YouTube if you find them useful. I'd, la I'd gladly hear your opinion about them. Um, if you like this tutorial and the texture, please do subscribe. It helps me keep this channel alive and make more videos about it. If you have any suggestions, comments, requests, um, just drop me a line below. And uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.